Both histograms and frequency tables have positives and negatives. Histograms portray the shape of the data, but you lose the individual scores. Frequency tables maintain those individual scores, but we don't see the shape of the distribution. But what if you want both? To get the best of both worlds, to see both the shape of the data and keep the individual scores, use a stem and leaf diagram. Histograms show the shape of the data, but you lose the individual scores. Here we see a bimodal distribution, but it's difficult to tell how many fives there are in the data set. Now, frequency tables retain the individual scores, so we can see how many fives there are, but they don't show us the shape. The table gives us individual frequencies, but we can't imagine how they will look when they're plotted. To see both the shape and keep the individual scores of the data, use a stem and leaf diagram. But in order to understand this, we need to recall one important thing. You probably remember this from first grade math when you were learning about numbers. You know that every number in the world, no matter how large, comprises some combination of the numbers zero through nine. When we have a single number, we might say that that number is in the ones place. What we mean is that we have a single digit. If all we had were those 10 single digits, we could actually do quite a bit, maybe most of what we need to do in real life. But we could not do complex math or accounting or business. So we have rules about combining numbers. Now the first rule is we can add a second digit. And if we add a second number, we now have digits in the ones place and a digit in the tens place. Add a third number, and we have a value in the hundreds place. A fourth number goes in the thousands place, and so on. So if we consider the number 25, it has a two in the tens place and a five in the ones place. A stem and leaf diagram puts the tens column as the stem, and the leaves are the ones column. So the first number in this stem and leaf is 1 and 4, or 14. The row 4 with 3, 3, 4, that contains the numbers 43, 43, 44. Now down here we have four 65s. A zero is still a number, so 9 slash 0 is 90. The highest number in our data, 98. The lowest number, 14. We have four 70s. And the most frequently occurring score is 69. In this case, we have a lot of numbers. So we split them 0 to 4 and 5 to 9. So because we have the same number in the tens column, to keep them straight, we use an asterisk. So for instance, use six to represent the values between 60 and 64. But six asterisk represents the values between 65 and 69. The asterisk helps show that the 60s have been divided on purpose. Now finally, we want to see the shape of the data. To do that, we could turn the stem and leaf diagram on its side and we have a histogram. We see both the shape of the data and we keep the individual scores. You create a stem and leaf using the explore command in SPSS. So using the data set clickers.sav, go to analyze, descriptive statistics, explore. We're gonna move participation from round one into the dependent list. And now click on Plots. You'll notice that Stem and Leaf is already selected, so we don't actually need to do anything here. Let's just click Continue and OK. Now this will create both a Stem and Leaf and a box plot, along with various other descriptive statistics. There's our Stem and Leaf, and there's the box plot. 